what political figures are on Cameo. I think that that would be very uh, interesting to see. So we have um, people I don't know on Cameo. Um, I don't know any of the, yeah, I don't know any of these people. <gasps> Carlton. Tommy Loren is on there. So we have uh, Larry Elder. Hilarious. $500 for Larry Elder. Jesus Christ. Don't know who this is. Don't know who this I don't know who any of these people are. New in political commentators. Sarah and Beth. I don't know any of these people. Does anyone recognize these folks? All. Rob Blagojevich. What the fuck? $100. Rob. Mm -mm. Ken Bone. $25. Okay. A little bit much. I think that if he was asking like $5, that'd be more reasonable. Tommy Loren. Honestly, $95. Not that shocking. Sarah Palin. $199. Come on, Sarah Palin. Who's going to pay that much fucking money? I don't know who this is, but you can tell he's a conservative because he has the uh, flag in the background. If you see an American flag behind somebody, that's a red flag. That means they're a conservative 99.9% .9 of the time. We have Anthony Scaramucci, and he has a, what is this, a bitmoji of himself? Is that what they're called? Um, Jason Chaffetz. See, this motherfucker, so desperate now that he's on Cameo. Is this not craven? Is this not embarrassing? Americans have choices and they've got to make a choice. And so maybe rather than getting that new iPhone that they just love and they want to go spend hundreds of dollars on that, maybe they should invest it in their own health care. Rather than buying that new iPhone, yeah, now you're on Cameo. Suck a dick. Judge Janine Pierro. <gasps> no! $350. I want this. Oh my God. Judge Janine Pierro. Okay, this is a heavy hitter right here. No cap. If this were like 250, I'd pay it. I'd pay it. 350, not not that much. But for $250, I would absolutely unquestionably give Janine Pirro my money and then I'd make that into the best outro ever. Oh my god, there's so many ideas. Rudy Giuliani. Wow. Rudy Giuliani. I don't even know what to say about that. I guess he needs the fees or he needs the money because he's going to need some le uh some lawyers himself, based on what he's been doing. Don't know these people. Uh, don't know these people. Let's see. Stormy Daniels. Okay, yeah. Trump's uh, former mistress. Anthony Sabato Jr. He's a has-been. I think this was like an yeah, actor, model, politician. Michael Cohen. Vermin Supreme. Vermin Supreme is underselling it. He's underslung. David Pakman, $44. Okay, okay. We've got Trump Jr., $500. Motherfucker, you aren't worth 50 cents. Now, I would, having said that, let me be clear, I would pay $10 to have him say uh, something about the human support and me just so I could put that into an outro. But $500, motherfucker, you better come over here and wipe my ass. You better cook me dinner for $500 fucking dollars. Holy shit. Um... There's a lot of Trump impersonators. Sheriff Joe Arpaio, racist fucking sheriff. $30. You think you're worth $30, bitch? Don't know these people. TikTok Donald Trump. Donald Trump puppet. There's a lot of Donald Trump impersonators. This is a big industry, folks. I should have uh, tried to figure out a way to um, create some sort of an impression of Donald Trump, but I, I don't have a good one. Jerry Springer. How is he in politics? Christian Walker, fucking uh, Herschel Walker's son, who is the most obnoxious, annoying grifter ever. Why? Okay, so it, you were right. Corey Lewandowski is here. He got the worst possible picture. He probably has like one photograph with Trump and it's cutting off both of their faces. But he wants you to know that he has clout. He stood next to the great God himself, Daddy Donald Trump. Who is this? Make music great again. Is this like a little pump knockoff? Sean Spicer, $199. You think that somebody's going to pay that? Come the fuck on. Gretchen Carlson, Tyrus, I don't know who this is. Kim Jong-un impersonator. Damn, there's a lot of people on here. The Hodge twins. Oh, these motherfuckers. Look at the virtue signaling with the flag. So embarrassing. Roger Stone, Ben Stein. It's like all of the most annoying people. Richard Ojeda, $25. Does anyone know who he is? 
I mean, Jesus, he's charging like a, a lower amount, but come on, $25? Reggie Brown, Mary, L Mary Jo La I don't know who half these fucking people are. Terrence K. Williams, I know him. He is the guy who's on Facebook screeching into a camera from his car about Donald Trump and why he's the best person ever. Let's see, J. Reg, I know J. Reg. J. Reg is funny underselling himself here the people who are actually good and maybe because i'm biased um they're charging way too little and the people who are the biggest dipshits and grifters they're charging way too much it's funny okay let's see wait the green shirt guy why is th anyone can be on cameo what's the criteria we have the uh tommy loren james from the internet cameo i'm so excited about this What's up, James? It's Tommy Laren. Hey, listen, Chad tells me that you just got banned from Twitter by a bunch of snowflakes who reported you. <laughs> listen, I know the censorship is real. I've been shadow banned uh, many a time. It happens to me every single day. We know that the First Amendment isn't something that the folks over at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, we know that's not something that they love. But James, keep fighting that good fight. I'm here to cheer you up. We wait for your little appeal to happen. So God bless you. Hope you get back on the Twitter soon and keep being a patriot and take care oh, that's incredible it's delicious it is delicious right right like it just gets better that's i just put this we can just make the whole stream i'll just put that's amazing i'm so jealous james that is amazing and then we arrive at the bottom of the barrel mike cernovich Hey, Patrick, I don't really do any of the election stuff. Not really my thing. A lot of people, other people are doing that. Not really my bag, but you should watch The Plot Against the President. Great movie, all documented, ironclad. That's the most important film of 2020. And it still applies in 2021. Watch The Plot Against the President. It's amazing. He's charging, how much for this? Was it $50? $50. $50. And you just say, oh, hey, uh, who is this? Hey, Greg, watch this movie. $50 for that? Holy shit. People are getting ripped off. I got to watch some of these Judge Jeanine Pirro ones. So she does a lot of birthday wishes. God, look at this is just such a, a very flattering like angle. I love it. Hi, Cecil. Hi, Cecil. Judge Janine. And I've been told that your birthday is on January 13th, and I've been asked to wish you a happy birthday. So from me to you, happy birthday. I understand that you're turning 83, and that is a, definitely a special birthday. So I think that what you should do is you should have your crown royal and seven up, and you should go to dinner with Kathy. You should take the day off and just smell the roses. Of course, I don't know where you live. You could live in Montana for all I know, where there are no roses right now because there's snow and bears everywhere. But you could be in Palm Beach too. What do I know? But uh, I just had to pause it for a second. I love how she's wishing someone a happy 83rd birthday. Absolutely right in line with what we'd expect her core fan base uh, demographic to be. But you know what? I've got to give her credit for um, $350 she's really she's going above and beyond she's not just saying hi uh kathy happy birthday or whoever this lady's name is she's not just saying happy birthday hope you have a great day and then ending it she's actually trying to i don't know finesse it a little bit add a little bit extra you know in just just go that extra mile i mean you're charging people a lot of fucking money 350 dollars you better fucking talk for at least a minute i don't care what the fuck you say but i better get some content for 350 dollars but I understand that you're a fisherman and a hunter and a lifelong resident of Las Vegas. There it is. And Even though she's totally unhinged, I have to say that if she were my auntie or my grandma, I feel like I would not really want to hear what she had to say. I'd be offended by like 85% of the things that she said, but she would be very loving and caring. That's just like the general, um, I don't know, that's the feeling that I get from her. Like she'd give really good hugs. But she's also batshit fucking insane. But I don't know. Just trying to see the, the personal side of her. Let's look at Don Jr. and see what he says. Does he have to get coked up for each of these or what?
Guys, Donald Trump Jr. here, really excited about being on Cameo. Look forward to... Com Is he doing a Trump impersonation? Does he not sound just like Donald Trump? Communicating with you guys and also... Guys... I'm Daniel Jr. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Are you trying to emulate your dad's style? That's so weird and creepy. Look forward to helping my friend Benghazi survivor Mark Geist raise some money for his incredible charity, The Shadow Warriors Project, getting canines in the hands of... Okay, so he's at, at least doing a charity. So he's not getting the money himself. Although mm, the Trumps don't necessarily have the best track record when it comes to uh, charities. So I'm sure he's going to pocket all of this. And the person that he referenced, the Benghazi survivor, is just made up, but who knows. It's really cringeworthy that he's doing an impression of his dad. It's actually sad. What about Rudy Giuliani? He's probably just fucking sitting here on the toilet. You hear him farting in the background and there's like a booger running down his nose and he's like eating it. Let's see what this goober is up to. God damn, look at this motherfucker. Look at that face. Holy shit, this is a face for radio. What is... <laughs> what Happy is birthday, Dick. What the... <laughs> Why was he just frozen for like 10 seconds? Can we go back? I have to see this again. Is there like a bar? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to hit play. Watch how long it takes for him to move. Like you don't know is he dead? Is he alive? What's going on? What the fuck? Happy what birthday, is that? David. What is that? <laughs> what is happening? God damn. Look at that smile. Happy birthday, David. From one super lawyer to another super lawyer. And you practiced law in Houston, and I practiced law in Houston a while back with Bracewell Giuliani for 10 years, and I really enjoyed it. And I hope the city of Houston is doing well. I see it's going through the crime epidemic that is hitting all of the Democrat-run uh, cities. I don't know if you have, I don't remember if you have a Soros Purchase DA. We it sounds like his denture is about to fall out of his mouth. And I just got to say, my dog just farted. So the fart smell that's circulating throughout the room, along with him, like it really creates this ambiance. Like it feels like I'm, I'm there. The answer, point of order. the answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness. Just like you, Ooh, they don't look at that. a single witness. Just like you, they don't want to know that. <laughs> She's giving him the death glare. <laughs> Let's watch that again. If you a single witness, just like you, <laughs> they don't want to know the truth. Well, you probably know the truth. The you answer. Point of I mean, the honestly, answer that I gave you he's so gross, but I've got to respect that. You know, he just doesn't give a shit. Eventually, we're all going to get to that age where we just, we don't care. You know what? If I got a fart, I might shit my pants. Fuck it. <laughs> that, like, that's where he's at. Honestly, you kind of respect it. You can't not respect that, right? God damn. God damn. Let's watch it one more time. This is a beautiful clip, by the way. Man. The answer. Point of order. The answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness. Just like you. God. They She's like thinking, did you literally just fucking fart next to me? You disgusting piece of shit. Imagine being right next to him when he farts. And there's about a 30 to 35 percent chance that um that was only a fart there's got to be at least some some doo-doo there because this is rudy giuliani he just like he's so gross he he just continuously emits mucus uh eats didn't he, remember wasn't he also um during a trump press conference over the whole election and stop the steal bullshit he was blowing his nose and then he folded it booger side up and then wiped it on his head this is one of the most disgusting human beings Let's watch another um, cameo. I, I did not know that his cameos were such a gold mine. Look at his fucking, look at that smile. What the fuck? What, is this just pure dark? What is going on here? Okay, okay. Hello, Elizabeth, it's Rudy Giuliani. Elizabeth. And let me first of all offer you congratulations on your uh, engagement. That's a beautiful thing, a wonderful thing. Charging. And, uh, you and Chris uh, should um, have a wonderful, wonderful life. And, and uh, it's, a, it's a great, great, great thing when you find a person that can be your partner. And like, what are you supposed to say if somebody's married? Hey, I heard you just got married. Congratulations. Really happy for you. You know, love is a beautiful thing, folks. Love is such a beautiful thing. And when two people meet, <laughs> like, what do you say? What do you say? And this is Rudy Giuliani. So... We're talking about somebody who's operating at like 20% brain capacity here. So he, for him to try to wing it, um, 
it, it's got to be hard. What is he? Let me see what he charges. Isn't it like 350? Is that what it said? 300? Yeah, 325 dollars. That's insane for business. 200 uh, or 2,275 dollars. What the fuck for your company, customers, or employees? Why is that difference? Why wouldn't I just pick this one? Have him say what I want. He's gonna do it like the little puppet that he is. And then you just give it to your uh, employees or something. Why would somebody pay for this? That's stupid. That's insane. Uh, so he has a lot of really high ratings. So this is from Anus. Uh, excuse me, Angus. Uh, so incredibly grateful to Rudy Giuliani for so artlessly agreeing to praise the Warriors in the Durick Associates case. It's unreal and fantastic that a seasoned prosecutor and anti-corruption ad anti advocate. Really? So far, the uh, gold standard is definitely Judge Jeanine Pirro. Who is this person? Radio talk show host? I don't know who this is. Uh, close second is Rudy Giuliani, but definitely Judge Jeanine Pirro is the best. Um, let me see who else we have here. I'm not even interested in seeing what George Papadopoulos has to say. Who would care what Anthony Sabato Jr. has to say? I don't think anyone even knows who he is. Christian Walker. Let's see. Oh, God. With how, like, open his mouth is, you know that it's going to be really insufferable. There's going to be a very loud, Hi! <laughs> Hi, Tala. I told you, I told you. Okay. It's Christian Walker. I just wanted to remind you that me, TJ, and Buster love you so much and are so proud of everything that you're doing. You do not need to have anxiety or be worried about finishing school, starting your career. You Okay, I have to say I've got to give him credit because at least he's he's energetic. He's really trying to make a good cameo because he probably knows that if somebody is paying a hundred dollars or however much he's charging, what is it, a hundred, two hundred, a hundred and fifty, that they want they want something, right? They want that little extra. And he's doing that. So I've got to give him credit. This is a quality cameo. I put him up there with um Judge Jenny Piro. I feel like I'm inadvertently making a cameo tier list. Definitely good.